Hello there folks, my name is Tom O'Reilly. I'm 19 years old and I'm a young filmmaker. This documentary is a short one about me and how I'm trying to get myself noticed. I'm going to make a name for myself. So how do you know Tom? Um, I know Tom from college. Uh, we, we were in the same class. He was uh, doing filmmaking and I was studying editing. Uh, so he came up to me and uh, asked me if I wanted to edit his, uh, his movie and I said yeah. On average, how long does it take you to edit one of Tom's films? It, it really doesn't take that long because uh, Tom, he's a, he's a genius. He has a, a vision and he, he has all these ideas and they really don't take long for us to, to um, come up with something new. Uh, he's also really good at communicating. Uh, so uh, all the ideas are easily put out there. And uh, we, we get along. We get along quite well. So, you know, we all, we all work towards that same goal. Do you see yourself working with Tom in the future? Yeah. No. Right, so the scene we're about to film here is where the two thieves are talking about their plans to steal the diamond. Right, lads, is there anything you'd like to add in or take away or anything you'd like Just to one. see? Just um, one. Have you ever seen Brooke Black Mountains? Uh, I'm up to like tits and morons. Cut the camera. So we're two days into filming and everything's going well. There's been no big muck-ups yet. I'm really hoping that it will stay like this. I haven't had any trouble with the cast or crew either, so I'm really hoping that everything will continue the way it has been. So how do you know Tom? Well, at a young age of 12, I went to acting school over in England and performed in many plays, but one day Tom came in looking for actors for this big new set and I just jumped at the chance. I mean, I think the guy's a visionary. The play was called Mary, Where's My Cheese? And it was just brilliant. What do you think of Tom's films that he makes? Tom's films are just... You have directors where they just go, Oh no, we can't do that. Tom just goes, Yes, let's do that. If we want, I don't know, a pink cow instead of a blue cow, we're going for it. And just he just doesn't stop. Whatever actors he wants, he goes out and finds them and just doesn't stop asking them. The, the guy's a genius. Do you enjoy working with Tom? All the time, that's not even a question. I mean, he, when he, he wants me to do stunt stuff, I just go for it and he says, oh, well, you break your arm, the actor can have a broken arm and we'll just do that for the whole thing. You will have a broken arm. And just, he lets me do anything and just the care and thought into every single movie and play just is amazing. Can you see yourself working with Tom in later years? Of course. I mean, me and him have turned into best buds in the recent movies, so I've, I'm, I'm hoping to do more of his upcoming movies. But definitely, I think they'll be big. If, mainly you, trip any lasers, we're going to have to resort to plan B. Which is... Remember whenever we were on the flight and you smuggled cocaine up your ass? Yes, I do. The bag popped. The diamond won't. I hate you. Can you fit this? After that cocaine, it's like that thing that killed Boba Fett. I'll just try and picture a hippo. Yeah. How we're gonna get into that It's got a door, hasn't it? Who walks through the front door? It's not really a high maximum security building, is it? Uh, no, we're blowing the roof. Why would we blow the roof? That's just a waste of resources. You ever seen Mission Impossible? No. The, yeah. I don't like Tom Cruise. The bit. Boo boo boo. Okay. That's the game shit. Is this deep, I tried to make a really loud fart there, but... <laughs> no. No. I'm going now. How do you, how do you get this off? How do you, how do you get it off? It's a little tough. Clip.